welcome back to ivory tv and by the title you know what this video is about it's about me responding to this weekend shenanigans you know all that good stuff um so basically we all seen jeremy well i'm not too sure if all y'all seen it but i did see jeremy aka splash's video um called rich nigga problems um, not gonna lie, the video, the whole, you know, setup was nice. It was. I ain't gonna lie about that. Um, I seen an article where Jeremy talked about spending $50,000 a day because that's the life of a splash. So, I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. <clears throat> that's how you feel. That's cool or whatever. Also, we seen a music video from, let me pull that up. I know I seen it. God dog. It's a music video that was the song been out, but apparently it uh, was uploaded recently, and it was called Travis Porter like that. And we seen clips of Ashley in there, and we also seen the clip of Jeremy having some girl twerk on him. Now I find it real funny how people are getting so mad and they get in a draws about the leeway. They get so mad about this girl. Like, they hate this girl guts. And it's like, y'all so mad. Y'all hate Ashley's guts when Jeremy was the one up in her guts at a point in time. And probably still in everybody else's guts too besides Keisha. So, but you sitting here mad. As long as it's Ashley, it's a problem. If it's somebody else, okay, whatever. We're not going to address nobody else. But as long as we think it's a Ashley or whatever Ashley got to say, we're going to come after her because of Keisha. I'm going to tell you something. It doesn't matter what's being said. The truth is the truth. And if I give my opinion on what's being out there, that's what I'm doing. That does not mean I dislike Keisha. One of the um, inmates going to tell me that I dislike, that I lied about disliking Keisha. I lied about um, talking about kids. I lied on D and everything else. First of all, I did not lie on D, period. Okay? Lie on her how? No, it's evidence. She, she put that thumbnail out there, but then going to take it down bitch okay just because i give my opinion on what's out there does not mean i hate keisha i do not hate that girl okay no i give my opinion i keep it 100 let me tell you something ashley admitted to not um doing the right thing when it came to jeremy you know she admitted her wrong she admitted where she fucked up she admitted where she uh, came up shout at she admitted that but yet, y'all still on her head about every little thing that she does. She's with her friends for her birthday. And one of the friends was back there filming her twerking. And the friend said, fuck them kids. Hey, first of all, you acting like that's a bad... First of all, you got some parents out here who, who, who say that. Hell, one of my old co-workers said that. She said, girl, fuck them kids. I ain't got time. You know, and when they say it, they're not being malicious. That's how they some people talk like that damn why well, you do so much for kids so it's time to, to it's time to do for you man look i'm i gotta rejuvenate myself so right now fuck them kids uh-uh <laughs> it's about me you know it's nothing disrespectful about them nothing malicious at all but y'all will take anything ashley does y'all will spin it and make it bigger than, than what it is and on top of that you got the same chick one of the inmates um the gutter mommy's talking about some I um, talked about kids, private parts, stuff like that. First of all, you got me fucked up. Don't you ever sit there and lie on me. No, you're the liar. All you do is lie. Anything D say, you regurgitate it. You lie so much, it's crazy. It's sickening. And then now you got Delonda up here posting up scheduled lives trying to talk about Nia's fiance being caught in the attic with Ashley. You done went way too far with that. Way too far. Why are you bringing him into anything? It's, this is nothing to, with him. No. Leave him out of it. That's your problem, Delonda. And I tried telling you that about a month ago. Come in, in so many words, I tried telling you that. You don't know who you dealing with. You don't know these folk like that. Because somebody give their opinion on, on Keisha. You, you got a problem with it. 
And it's so funny because I'm being very polite. I'm not being rude at all to Keisha. People say, well, you call her a B the other day. I'll call everybody a bitch. Okay? So me calling her that, that don't mean I hate her. I call everybody that. It's a term of endearment, right? Yeah, quit playing with me. Yeah, I said what I said. I call her the B word sometimes. Okay, and so I call my best friend a B word. Okay, and that's y'all problem. Y'all want to sit here and y'all want to play these little gaslight manipulative games on people and it's not going to work. And when it don't work, y'all want to call people dumb, slow, um, stupid, all kind of stuff. You calling me dumb. You call Nia dumb. You call Hazel dumb. Paris dumb. Miss Tashiri. You call um, Toya Talk dumb. You call everybody else dumb but y'all. And a lot of y'all be saying things that makes no sense. Y'all think it's funny to, to really call somebody child P words. But y'all coded with the word dot, dot, dot. That's not funny. Because let's be honest. I don't give a damn. Half of y'all was in there. Half of y'all were victims of that. Don't play with me. Half of y'all probably was victims. Guess what? I apologize if that ever happened to you. Because that was not y'all fault. But as an adult, you are, you're going around here call folks that word. That's not funny. That's not funny at all. That ain't cool. It's like you can't even tell people the truth nowadays because if you do, then you're hating. Baby, hate on what? Y'all talking about some, y'all mad because Jeremy is still with Keisha. He's not going to leave Keisha. Keisha, his queen. Well, Keisha is his queen. He will not be sitting around here, sitting around here, like I say, having holes on his lap, riding his dick whenever he want to have sex. Let's be real. Because then Keisha say he got a plethora of holes on his roster. If he really loved her and cared about her, then he wouldn't be doing that. So what are y'all talking about? Y'all saying whatever at this point. Just to, I don't know, come up with some kind of plot or whatever y'all got going on. But y'all know good and well what y'all saying makes no sense. And y'all the same ones that's up here talking this shit. Y'all be the same ones telling y'all granddaughters in real life, don't ever let a man disrespect you or make you feel less than. Or make you feel as if you're not worthy of his love or good enough. Y'all be the same ones telling y'all granddaughters then y'all grandsons how to respect a female. Be it y'all sit on this platform and condone toxic behavior. Toxic behavior. My bad, y'all. Toxic behavior. You got somebody from the inmates gonna come on my video talking about some, um, I sound very uneducated. My grammar is very poor. I'm boring. I'm this. I'm that. Ma'am, first of all, like I told you, first of all, ma'am, your whole presentation to me, ma'am, please sit down. Two, your comment had a lot of, <clears throat> <clears throat> my bad, y'all. Um, your comment had a lot of grammatical errors in it. I had to tell you that what you're saying is not the correct word. It's your, not your. Why owe you apostrophe R E, not your, like a possession? No. But yet you call me uneducated. I don't get that. Now you see here, you talk about me, but yet you sit on somebody else's live who can barely read one and two who always cussing and three only know four words. Raggedy, ugly, dumb, and a B word. But you sit here, you get disrespectful out the mouth. And that's the thing. I don't mind giving my opinion. I don't mind hearing different opinions from mine. I have no problem with that. But what you're not going to do is blatantly disrespect me. That's what you're not going to fucking do. I don't give a y'all, uh uh. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I am not Keisha. Like I said before. I don't like to fight. I like peace. But what you will not do is continuously bully me and pick at me. That's what you're not going to do. I don't care. And I've been said you're not going to step and they're not going to step for you. Now, 
See, I tried to get on by my business. I tried to let it go with my old channel. I said, you know what? Nah, bro, you acted off impulse. Go back. Start your new channel. Do your commentary. Do your thing. No, do what you want to do. This is your channel. And guess what? If you don't like me, stop watching me. Stupid. And then you're going to sit here and say, well, them same folks, they talk about you. First of all, stupid. I only mess with some, shoot, a small number of the butterflies that I feel like did not turn on me. Or had an issue with me and I didn't know about it. Okay? What are you talking about? And plus you saying I'm lying on a child. What child? We all heard um, these son call her the B word. And then she tried to flip it. You couldn't flip it. Because every which way she said it made no sense because um, it came before stop. It wasn't stop it. It was it stop, remember? And plus, the child, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure D's son knows what their dog name is. It ain't it. He know that. Stop telling me no. He calls you the B word and that's what you mad at, bitch. That's what you mad at. And now you're sitting up here lying on near fiance. Girl, please. Girl, please. And you steady talking about some. You stay saying, uh, Ashley messed with somebody, man. She messed with somebody, man. She did this. She did that. She out of line. She, oh my God. Really? First of all, Jeremy and Keisha said that he was single when he was doing this thing. They were not together, right? But of course, when he was trying to get back with her, they still kept messing around. But guess what, though? Ashley took accountability for that. Okay? Now, D, you gonna sit up here and talk about somehow she messing around with Mary, messing around with Jeremy, but yet, you messing around with Mary men. And some of your followers mess with Mary men, too. So how y'all gonna get y'all ass up here and sit up here and judge Ashley for messing with a man who was confused about what he want in life? And then I acting like Jeremy is a prize. No, he not. I don't care what it is. I don't care if he was handsome, ugly, the richest guy in the world, tall, short, dark skin, light skin. I don't care what it is. His character is something else. His perspective is something else. Okay? No, any man that finds it okay to have sex with plethora, with a plethora of women and just do it and plus you know about that but you're okay with it as long as it ain't Ashley you're okay with it so I don't that's not a prize to me that's not a prize at all and that's why I put on my last video my young ladies listen to me I don't care what's being said, what's being done. You do not deserve to be disrespected by no man. I don't care who it is. I don't care if he's fine, he handsome, all the girls want him. I don't care about none of that. I don't care if he got money. You do not deserve to be treated like a uh, like trash. And plus, he got all that money he's spending per day. How come he ain't bought you no ring and proposed to you? Come on now. Use your head. The thing is, like my homegirl Nia say, a lot of us are healed. Therefore, we see things a lot clearer. Versus some of y'all that's hurt. Well, still hurt behind one of your little dudes or whatever. And y'all see one side. Let's be honest. Like... I'll be trying to just give my opinion, but still kind of give some real talk advice for Akeisha. But I can't do that because, oh, I'm a hater. I'm this and I'm that. Whatever. All, all of this, this stupid stuff. Can't tell folks nothing nowadays because it's a problem. It's a problem. Oh, you don't like me or I'm going to come find you. And D has threatened to come find me. Threatened to come find my family. All kind of stuff because of my opinion that has nothing to do with her. That's her problem. She doing too much. She going too far, man. She doing the absolute most. The absolute most. Because you're coming for people that ain't got nothing to do with this. Like, you're coming for 
Nia's fiance. See? Stop. You are out of line. You are too old. You damn near 50 years old. Still doing kitty stuff. I said it before. Yeah, it's cool. Um, you came on the scene to defend your friend. That's cool and all. That's cool. That's cool. Whatever. But you go too far. Like in them girls live. I forgot their name. It was two big girls. They was going live. You was in there bitch dropping names. I'm assuming they're they are Paris's people. Paris said a word. She minded her business. You're dropping names. You see, you see that? You antagonize people. And then when people respond to you, you want to act dumb like, why are they responding to me? What did I do to them? Oh, okay. I'm going to lie about them tonight. When you clearly started with them. But your followers, they're going to go by anything that you say. They're all scared of you. They are afraid of you. You got the understudy. I forgot what bronze girl called all of them. The understudy, the representative, the uneducated, educated professor. Who else? Lieutenant. Who else? The eyes and ears. The... The, the fin- well, I don't know what she called them, but what she called them, she called out a few of them and gave them all a title. Y'all don't want to check this girl because y'all know she's going to get in y'all behind, and that's what y'all scared about. And that's the thing, Keisha. I'm not even, I'm one of the girls who even said, I'm not going to put my hands on you. For what? One, there's no reason to, and two, it's going to be an unfair fight. I ain't bragging. I'm just saying it's going to be an unfair fight. I'm one of the ones that said I'm not going to talk about her kids or her parenting. That's not my place. I don't care. Because your kids look like they love you and you look like you love them. That's all that matters. I've said that. I, I said it on my old channel. I'm going to say it right now. I've been said that. I always said that. I'm going to backtrack from that. I've always said that always I've also said that you made a career for yourself you got your own channel going up you got your own hair business you're doing your sponsorships and stuff like that you know you ain't gotta go up and work with these white folks every day you don't have to do that my hat goes off to you for that I've said that but let me say one thing oh uh Keisha, I feel like she should love herself more. Oh, you hate her. You hate her. You lied. Lied about what? Your dislike. You do You do not like her. Because I said the girl should love herself more because she does. Hell, I think uh, Beyonce is beautiful. But I don't think Jay-Z um, is being faithful. I think Naomi Campbell is beautiful. But her attitude stank. Yeah, I think Ari is a gorgeous woman. She, she's a gorgeous hustler to me. But I feel like she got a, she got jealous vibes about her. I mean, I can be real. I can like you and still keep it 100. Y'all are so weird. Y'all take whatever and y'all splice it up. Y'all twist stuff up for anything and nana i was in your live asking you questions the way i was asking you like that to try to get you to understand what you were saying and then you put words in my mouth to my some friends i ain't bringing no friends you bought that up and then you said i'm getting on your nerves but i don't give a damn about that because you say all this stuff then you say something else i said okay so it's doxing and defending somebody's character uh illegal it is and then you're gonna tell somebody else that well breathing i can be friends i did not bring up no friends i'm trying to get you to understand what you're saying because you're saying one thing and then saying another talking about some ashley called keisha a goofy okay well d called ashley a powder head and the whole time i was asking you things and saying things and they come you kept on overlooking my doggone questions in my comments and that's why I kept on asking them questions and let, trying to get you to understand and hear what you say. Yeah. But that's all you guys. I want to come on here and kind of, you know, get some things off my chest, y'all. Look, I don't look. Look, this is just me giving my opinion and how I feel. 
I already know. Whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, y'all give me y'all comments, likes, subscribe, do whatever. See y'all later.